Hello students. Hope you all are fine. In the last class, we have done how to open a savings bank account, how to operate it and its advantages. Today, we are going to study about check in detail. It is an important service provided by the bank. The payments made through the check are very easy and convenient whether they are large or small as it avoids the risk of carrying cash from one place to another. It is also a documentary evidence for the payment made. It can be defined as a signed document by which money is transferred from the account of one person to the account of another person. It's an instrument in writing containing an unconditional order signed by the maker directing a banker to pay on demand a certain sum of money only to a certain person. Checks are printed by the banks on a special type of paper and these are serially numbered. Next, we'll do the characteristics of a check. Following are the essentials of a check. Firstly, it is a written instrument. It means it's an instrument in writing. The contents may be typed or in ink. Bankers do not accept checks in pencil just to protect the customers against any manipulations or alterations. It is unconditional. A check should be unconditional if any kind of condition is attached for the payment of the amount then the checks becomes invalid. Order A check is an order to the drawing that is the bank to pay the specified amount. Next one is signature of the drawer. A check must be signed by the drawer in the manner in which the drawer has signed as a specimen signature in bank's record. Next one is particular bank. The bank or banker on whom the check is drawn must be specified. It can only be drawn on the bank with which the drawer has his or her account. If it is drawn on a person who is not a banker, then it cannot be called a check. Next one is certain amount. The drawer should direct the drawing that is the banker to pay a fixed amount which must tally both in words and figures. For example, in words it should be written as 2000 only, no about or so word should be written and in numbers 2000 slash hyphen so that nobody will add amount after it. It is meant to pay money only, the order written in the check should be for the payment of money only. Neither any other thing can be mentioned in its place nor will the bank entertain it. Next one is pay must be certain. The payment must be ordered to be made to a specific person named therein. Next one is endorsement of a check. It means signing on the back of a negotiable instrument that is a check with the aim of transferring its ownership to another person. And the last one is crossing of a check. It is a process of drawing two parallel lines on a check with or without certain words. The purpose is to protect the drawer against lost by theft or forgery. Crossing of a check also ensures that payment is made to the authorized person only by transferring the amount directly into his or her account. So these are the characteristics of a check. Now we are going to study about essentials of writing a check. How to write a check? The check has to be written in ink clearly without any corrections, alterations and overwriting. The date of issue 
should be mentioned on the check as if the check is not deposited within the 3 months of its issue then it becomes invalid and gets dishonored the specific amount to be paid or withdrawn by the check must be clearly and specifically be mentioned in numbers and words both the signature of the drawer should match the signature of the specimen given to the bank while opening bank account pay name should be mentioned on the check to whom you intend to make the payment a check should be preferably be crossed by drawing two parallel lines on the left hand side of the top corner as it protects the drawer against any loss theft or forgery and ensures that the amount will go directly in the pays account check should be signed on both sides if the pay want to withdraw money in cash or he pays a bearer check you can see in this check two lines and account pay written over there on the left hand side it means it will go into the account of ashish sharma only because we have written his name here amount is written both in words and in numbers and on the right hand side date is clearly mentioned then account holder signature here above the line so these are some essentials of writing a check next we'll do the advantages and disadvantages of payment by check the check provides an easy and inexpensive means of transferring money it may be drawn for any sum within the limit of the drawer's balance in the bank account payment by check eliminates the need for counting and checking the bank notes except when paid into the account of pay a check drawn payable to a order must be bearer and if it is crossed must be paid into the bank account these requirements provide the check with a high degree of safety as a means of payment the check except the bearer check acts like a receipt it is a proof once it has been cleared that the money has been received but it has some disadvantages too checks are not legal tender and a creditor may refuse to take a check in lieu of the cash amount unless a check is carefully drawn it may be altered by a dishonest person the dimensions of the check are same whether you are making big payment or small payment and it can be just easily misplaced or lost without the loss being noticed immediately such a risk makes it necessary to handle the checks with great care especially bearer checks payments by check may be inconvenient for those who don't have any bank account so these are some advantages and disadvantages of making payment through check next is atm card an atm card can be used in any atm machine across the country at any time of the day the card can be used to withdraw money check account balance and sometimes be deposit money to atm cards the card is to be inserted in the slot provided in the machine then the machine will ask you for your four digit pin number after this it will ask you for what kind of transaction you want to make and it will guide you through few steps and finally ask you whether you need a receipt or not for the transaction and then the transaction gets completed ATM cards can be used for online shopping, book travel 
and entertainment tickets for paying bills etc while doing all these payments you have to enter your 16 digit card number name of the card holder and three digit cvv mentioned on the back of the card after entering these three things the system will send you an sms on your registered mobile number and then you will have an otp otp means one time password which you will have to enter for these online transactions then the system proceed toward the payment and the transaction succeeds next one is net banking or mobile banking which is also known as internet banking as the transactions are conducted electronically via the internet it is easier and faster mode of banking and consumes less time it enables us to transfer money to someone's account just sitting at home we can also check our account balance transactions we made we can even book an fd that is fixed deposit and pay bills care should be taken as bank also advises not to share your card number your cvv otp to any other person so that we can not have any kind of robbery or theft so these are the advantages of internet banking but you should take care while using this internet banking so that we will not become a victim of any online robbery or theft last one is ppf account it is an another type of saving account for long term gain it gives good tax free returns it is a safe kind of investment it can be accessed from any part of the country and it is a flexible investment that is you can withdraw your money as needed without losing out on lot of interest like fixed deposits and recurring deposits so students today we have covered the check in detail its essentials how to write it how to transfer it net banking ppf account and atm card in the end i would like to say banks are closely related to us and they play an important role in our everyday life from drawing salaries to pay bills for the services or build up savings and taking loans all these activities involve transactions with banks so with this we have completed this chapter thank you